this lunatic law grad from CUNY, uh, City University of New York, who apparently was at John Jay College of Law, of Law and then transferred to CUNY. I mean, none of these is going to get this person any very far uh, in the legal profession based on what we just heard. Um, she decided, she spoke at the graduation. Mayor Adams was there. It was a nice occasion. He got booed because he mentioned that he's a former cop. <laughs> okay. And now we understand exactly just how left that crowd was. Who on earth is going to hire this woman? This is how she sees our country uh, and others in SOT3. One of very few legal institutions created to recognize that the law is a manifestation of white supremacy that continues to oppress and suppress people in this nation and around the world. We joined this institution to be equipped with the necessary legal skills to protect our communities, to protect the organizers fighting endlessly day in and out, working to lift the facade of legal neutrality and confront the systems of oppression that wreak violence on them. Systems of oppression created to feed an empire with a ravenous appetite for destruction and violence. May the rage that fills this auditorium, may it be the fuel for the fight against capitalism, racism, imperialism, and Zionism around the world. Okay. okay. Like she wants to abolish ICE. She has some very unfortunate things to say about Israel to the point now where there are protests over her and um, calls to defund this publicly funded university where we're helping this person get ahead in the law. And this is just an, a window into how people on law school campuses today feel, right, about how they see the world. It's absolutely offensive. The headlines are about how this pro-Palestine student made all sorts of nasty comments about Jews, which is, is an expected story. It's not newsworthy. It's not exactly man bites dog. But what I think is still newsworthy is what this woman is saying about the law. She, she's saying that CUNY uniquely recognizes that the law is just this facade to uphold white supremacy and justice is all a big sham. And, and so she graduates from this law school. She's never even learned the basic meaning of law and of justice. Law is an ordinance of reason for the common good by the one who has care of the community and promulgated. That's the most basic definition you could get of law. Justice is a habit of virtue that inclines the will to give to each and to all what they deserve. Again, this is pretty basic stuff. You don't need a law school education to have that. And so we focus today on how so many things in our society are not what they seem. We've been talking for a long time about how a lot of men are, are not the, the women that they present themselves to be and vice versa. But, but this is the case with the law, too. If this is what this girl learned from law school, then she yeah. doesn't know a damn thing about the law. And a nation that doesn't know anything about the law and doesn't know anything about justice is not going to be able to render justice to anybody. Her name is Fat Fatima Musa Mohammed. She's from Yemen uh, by way of Queens. And she views, yeah, this law school as one of the very few legal institutions created, as you heard in the soundbite, to recognize that the law is a manifestation of white supremacy that continues to oppress and suppress people in this nation. She's working to help people fight against systems that were created to feed an empire with a ravenous appetite for destruction and violence. And on she goes, calling the NYPD and the U.S. military fascists. That's that's lovely. Um, over Memorial Day weekend, though it happened May 12th. Um, yeah, NYPD, is a fa those are fascists. U.S. military fascists called on our peers to continue to the revolution against capitalism and racism across the country. I mean, this is terrifying that this person's actually gotten a law degree. Doesn't mean she passed the bar. We'll see if she can do that. Um, but this is this is why we have you know, the crazy cases that we have. And thank God for the bar as it exists now and some of the justices sitting there and judges who fight back against this nonsense. The vast majority of the federal bench is not woke. Maybe some of the state bench, they're not woke and they're not going to tolerate this nonsense. But think about this, Megan. Think about what she's saying just about the law. And she says the law just exists to uphold white supremacy. That's what the law is about. Okay, lady, so what's the alternative? What are you proposing? The only alternative to law is lawlessness. And, and that is what she and her fellow radicals and frankly, a lot of mainstream Democrat politicians have been advocating in recent years. So it's it's not a bug of, of the liberal system when you hear calls to defund the police or abolish the police or empty out the prisons or, or any of the rest of it. That's a feature of the program. The program is explicitly advocating 
for injustice now because they don't believe in any such thing as justice. Mm. Meanwhile, you've got, you know, what is it, 11 people shot in Chicago over the weekend. Um, you know, violence breaking out in the, a terrible melee in California. People hurt down in Florida. And, and like, the numbers are bad. So, I mean, to be so tone deaf now to be attacking the police still as a bunch of fascists and the military still as a bunch of fascists, like, I'm, she's, she's probably never going to have to deal with it, but others have. Look. You did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available right now to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax pros at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, even those who took PPP loans, and even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Now let covidtaxrelief.org help get you up to $26,000 per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.